guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell once you not miss any of your boys' videos. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a collab with someone that maybe you guys might know or someone that you guys might not know. But this person I have actually been knowing for a couple years already, like two to three years. I met them in Arizona. They invited me out to a truck show and they were like, hey, come through. I'll got you, I'll get you in. And that's how we met. And since then, we've been keeping contact. We've been trying to do a collab here and there, but we just have not had the time. We have not been able to. Every time I come out here, he's you know, busy at a show or something. And today was the actual day where the collab is coming true. Right now, guys, the timestamp of this video, I don't know what it is. Comment it down below and comment who you guys think I'm doing a collab with, but do not fast forward, guys. Do not fast forward and see who it is. Comment down below who you guys think I'm doing the collab with. And with that being said, let's go ahead and head to their house and pick up the camera when we get there. Yeah, we're pulling up and I know you guys are gonna know whose house this is as soon as you guys see Damn boy the owner himself <laughs> Damn. Welcome to the city of Harris, California. This is my yeah. first time here, bro. Hell yeah, bro We're gonna make sure you love this city and we're gonna make sure your people fall in love with the city, too And hell yeah, bro. One thing though your house looks straight up out of a GTA bro straight up you think so yeah your cars are clean all of them bro props i, I, I did i did the money glitch so that was, <laughs> i was able to afford you were afford, able to afford all of them huh yeah. Hey, hell yeah that's sick so in this video we're gonna be doing one video for your channel and one video for mine right yes, sir. so i los que no sepan i'm gonna leave his channel right here down below so you guys can go check it out and let's just get right into the video all right y'all so we just got to mexico como dice mi boy jerry tweak Hey, we're about to get ratchet but that's gonna be on your video right yeah, yeah so guys this is gonna be we're, we're both gonna have some badass videos but if you guys like his video, make sure you hop on over to my channel. And I'm gonna tell my people the same thing. They're both gonna be better as videos, but we're gonna be letting my boy Jonathan swing this thing. Hey, we, we drove all the way to Mexico for this shit. Yeah, this is so. like three, four hours later after he got to my house, cause you know, every, all this is illegal in California. We don't want to get in trouble, so. <laughs> well, where, where, where are we? Jalisco, Tijuana. Tijuana? Tijuana? Tijuana. Oh, Tijuana. All right, let's get it. <laughs> There's the one right here, I'm feeling this. You're feeling it? Uh -huh. Should I go stand in the middle? Or tampoco. Nah, I'm not feeling it that much. You're yeah, contemplating yeah. letting the boy swing right now, huh? Yes. So, Jonathan and I just swung it. Now my boy he said that he wants to swing it next too, cause it's like the boy just by looking at us. <laughs> but I feel like I just get scared for us to like for this thing to break here in the middle of Mexico, and we have another three four hours <laughs> back to California. We're in the middle of nothing, come on, man. Middle of nothing. So what? Uh, so be nice, Jonathan, and just let him. For the vlog, bro. Fuck it. Vlog. For the vlog. So this is gonna be on Jonathan's vlog. <laughs> Hey, he was giving you the puppy eyes, yeah, bro. Puppy eye, huh? Hey, what? what? Oh, we are out here in Mexico, so all this is legal right here. But just see that. Alright y'all, so we just got here from getting ratchet when we saw my boy in Mexico and it's hot out, so we're taking a little break. We're gonna play a little 1v1. Jonathan wants all the smoke. You bro, you I said I want all the smoke, I he, really do want the smoke. He said he was gonna lie and say he does know how to play. Yeah. I asked <laughs> him, uh, do you know how to play? He's uh, if he said yes, I said yes. But if he said no, I was gonna lie and say I don't know how to play. <laughs> but yeah, I know how to play. So tampoco, tampoco, good, good. <laughs> We're about to get a game. I'm not gonna show you guys the game. It's gonna be on his channel, but I'm gonna show you guys who wins or who loses. So stay tuned to the end. All right, y'all. So unfortunately, I lost. I had him beat. I I literally had no more balls on the table, but I got a little too comfortable. I hit the eight ball in right there. Oh, My boy took the win over there. Honestly, I told Jonathan I think he won because um he still made the eight ball. It was already his last ball. He had left me by two. He's saying he lost. I think he won. It's okay. Hey, we fuck had it. a lot of fun. Let's have, let's have some more fun. Yeah, let's have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
tiene belleza Tú mueves ese booty más con tremenda certeza Es que en esos ritmos y un par de cervezas Ya nos ambientamos porque esto apenas comienza de lo que veo acá Nadie lo compra Alright y'all, we're back from the fun And now we're hitting a 2v2 Me and Jerry against the homies right here A ver quién gana Alright, this is how it's going, we're losing They got one more ball left Damn, the black one almost went in. Oh! Oh! Caught in cuatro pa. I love! Damn, bro. Oh my god, G. How do you feel, bro? You do everything and then he just kind of oh. screws it up for you. Bro, you almost won just for him to lose. Fuck. Yeah. Alright, guys, so right now, we're to the part of the video where I have some questions that I want to ask my boy as a. a fellow YouTuber to another fellow YouTuber, you know? Because I want to see if I think the same because we both come from. You know, Hispanic parents that didn't have a lot growing up, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to see if we if we kind of have the same things going on and just see if we relate to some things, right? Let's do it. All right, so my first thing is, like, you do YouTube, right? You start making this money. Like, how does it feel? How does it feel? Yeah, like, like knowing that you're, you're coming from, like, you know, because uh, we're coming from Hispanic parents again. Like, they didn't have a lot growing up, you know? Uh, yeah, it's, that's a really good question. You really got to think about. Obviously, it's such a great feeling um, being able to touch this money that you kind of dream of, you know? Yeah. I was telling you earlier about, he, he made a comment earlier like, hey, this looks like a GTA house. And that made me feel really, really good because, you know, obviously I, I play GTA, you play GTA. And then it's just, and on GTA it's so easy to just buy these cars and stuff and you build them however you want. And I kind of just realized that when you told me that, I realized like, damn, I really did. Like you're do, doing that in real yeah, life. Doing that, yeah. yeah, so it, it felt really, really, it felt and feels good um, to touch that money. Um, it makes me really, really happy as well because I'm the only boy in my family, you know. Uh -huh. So I feel like, like I'm actually uh, doing something like yeah, safe, like, you know? yeah, like like my parents. Um, I feel like my parents feel happy, proud of mm -hmm. me because you know. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing something right because I don't know. I'm I'm a, I'm a guy, I guess. But it feels really, really good. Yeah. Um, making that money. And this is something that I can't relate to, but you buy your parents' this house, bro. Like, how does that feel? How does that make you feel like inside? You know. Yeah. How does that feel? Um, that feels even better than the first question, to be honest. Um, it feels good, bro. Obviously, I think I think that's uh, pretty much everybody's uh, like ultimate goal. You ultimate know? goal, you know, your your parents or whatever. Um, I still live here, so a lot of people, bro. Honestly, they'll still bash me. Believe it or not, they'll be bashing me. Like, you know what? Like, how do you buy your parents a house that you're still living there? You know. But you're doing it. You exactly. Know? Like, it's just like like I mean, I'm I'm not gonna buy my parents' house uh, either, and then just live in the street. You know, that yeah. just can't happen. So my plan is, uh, I bought this house already. So I I was telling you. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, so I was telling you earlier, I want to go ahead and uh, buy my own house, um, hopefully oh, yeah. next year. But it feels really, really good, bro. Honestly, uh, in the world. this one's like like a tricky one. Like as an influencer or someone that's like on social media, you have a lot of pros and cons. Mm -hmm. What are like your two favorite things and your two least favorite things of like being known or being in the public eye? Okay, so easily the first con would be this address being kind of like. Not leaked, but people know. So like privacy. Yeah, you know? privacy. To be honest, you know, like I don't really like the fact that people um like cruise by, or uh, like, like. Yeah. Like, like they'll come. Some people will come and they'll knock on my door and they'll ask like pictures or whatever. Yeah. I mean, and I do it, you know, out of heart. I don't kick them out because I'm not that person. But at the end of the day, it's really not the right thing to do, you know. So for me, that's kind of one too, but. I feel like it's not so much because we don't want to meet you guys. It's more because, like, you know, like, this is your spot where, yeah. you know, your family's this at. Like, the, in your this case, This is your the kid. only privacy we have. Yeah, like, your kids words. are here, like, you know, yeah. like, not saying anybody has bad intentions, but yeah. you never know, like, with your address being so public, yeah. what could happen, you know? Yeah, so, so, one, so, uh, I thought about this after, like, that. yeah, I, I get it, community is what I meant. Yeah, so I, now I think about, I think about that, I should have done that, you know? But yeah, um, I don't mean that in a, in, a, in a bad way. I mean it as in like, you know, there's a time and place uh, uh, for everything, you know? Yeah. Like, trust me guys, um, you too, you travel the world, I travel the world, and uh, we I put spots where I'm gonna be so people could go and yeah, meet yeah, me there, yeah. you know? Cause we love meeting you guys, but there is yeah. times where if you come to the house or if you're driving in front of our house, we don't feel as safe as, as you guys think we do just because we don't know you guys. We don't know like, or intentions. we don't know if someone else's intentions that's following you, like we don't know that, you know? Yeah. So we kind of just, like to keep our house safe, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, on, this, on the other side of that, um, one of the pros is like, yeah, just running into people like at the store and stuff, and then you're just like, damn, like, like sometimes people will be like, hey, like, JT, can I get a picture? Sometimes I'll just wander off like, like, it's like crazy, why, man. why me? Yeah, yeah exactly, those words in my head, I'm just like, why me? But that makes me feel really, really happy, you know? So yeah. I, 
that's the type of person I am. If you see me in public, please, in public is the time and place yeah. to come up to me. You and know? it's crazy, like, like when you're chilling, like, and someone comes up to you, you're kind of like, at least I stay like in shock, like, yeah. oh shit, like sometimes I forget, you know, like, because yeah. no, no, no. I. Like we're, and, we're normal. I feel like a normal person, yeah, bro. Like, you know, like, like I'm no more than you guys are, and it's crazy when you guys come ask us for pictures. It makes us feel yeah. crazy. Yeah. So that that is the uh, the other pro. So I have one more question. Do you love what you do, like the truck stuff? <laughs> hell yeah. Like, is that your like? Is that something that you always dreamed of doing? Yeah, hell yeah. Honestly, um, I don't think there is a, a better job out there. I mean, everybody has their own opinions, you know. I don't think there is a better job for me out there. You know, yeah. I literally just um. You could probably relate, you make your own hours, um, you edit whenever you want, you film whatever you want, you know, because... You film what you love, basically, yeah, you film. You know? so, so, basically, we get paid to do what we love, yeah. you know? I love what I do, honestly. And, and, and some people might take that wrong, you know, getting paid, we do what we love, because they're like, oh, it's easy to do what you do. It's not easy. It's not. That's one thing people don't understand. We've been talking about yeah, this like all day, guys. It's not easy what we do, but it's definitely not the hardest thing in the world. It yeah. takes time, it takes effort, like, you have to actually put your heart into it, in order for it to come back, you know. Yeah, and then again, uh, I don't know about you, but yeah, it took. It, it's it's hard, you know. Yeah. It's really really hard. Uh, but yeah, I love. Like it. having to, like the consistency is hard of having yeah. to think of what to do. Like it's a job in itself, but it's definitely I a think dream it's job. Very, uh, yeah, I think it's very um, mind draining, mental yeah, it's like mind draining. mental stress. Well, anyways, guys, I think this was a a much needed collab. I have actually been knowing Jerry too. Let's get a little bit into the story. I have been knowing him for about three years, and this only came like to a thing because of you actually. He hit me up one day and he was like, hey bro, I'm going to Arizona, let's go to this truck show. Yeah. And I texted him back, I was like, bro, I don't have tickets, like I don't, my truck's not 100% ready. He was like, don't worry about tickets, don't worry about nothing, just come. Yeah. And that's how we met, huh? And then you pulled up and then your truck was breaking down, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. truck was breaking down, but he made it and it was cool. You know, I think we even have pictures. Yeah, I think we do. It. And to be honest, I was looking, I was looking at the picture and then I even look a little bit younger, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, you do, bro, yeah. you do. It's crazy, like, yeah. the memories. But, hey, oh yeah, should we finish this video off with some shaved ice? Yeah, so to celebrate this nice, beautiful, still hot day, Hell yeah. uh, we're gonna go get some shaved ice and then we'll just close out the video here. Hey, yeah, so we'll see you guys at the shaved ice. So the shaved ice truck was posted up right here, but something happened. It's gone. Uh, so yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> otra. All right, guys, so there you guys have it. We did just finish filming with Jerry Tweak. He also filmed a video, a little bit more action-packed than his. We were doing some stuff in Mexico. We had some fun over there. It was a cool video, definitely. But a big shout out to him for also, you know, answering those questions on a little bit more of a deeper personal level. I know a lot of people want to know, like, questions about yourself, you know, your life in a little bit more of a deeper level, as I mentioned. So big shout out to him, big shout out to his whole team and his family and everything. They were super nice, super loving. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And your boy will see you guys on the next one. Peace.